Expect the unexpected. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, but. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we, whoa, okay, I feel really dizzy. Today I'm gonna be unboxing some makeup mystery boxes and putting them on my face. Also, please forgive me if I don't seem like my normal self in this video. I feel really dizzy today and I've got no idea why, but we're gonna push through because I really wanna film this video. So I saw loads of people on TikTok unboxing and showing what they got in different mystery boxes from different brands. The first brand that I actually saw do this, I mean, they're not the first brand ever in the world to do this, but on TikTok, loads of people were going crazy over the Made by Mitchell mystery bundles. They had different prices of them. I I think there was a £10 one, a £15 one, maybe a £20 one, and you would basically get a surprise. They would put random things into a bundle, and I think for a lot of brands, it's kind of a way for them to get rid of excess stock, and maybe stuff that hasn't necessarily sold as well, and some brands do it just for the fun of it as well, with like popular items, or a mix of the two. And then after that, I saw a few other brands jumping on the trend and doing their own mystery boxes and mystery bundles. I did order three initially, but two of them have arrived, and this is enough, I think, for a whole video, hopefully. And then I'm still waiting on one other to arrive, so I think I'm at order a couple more from different brands. If you know of any brands that do mystery boxes, let me know because I could make another video out of it. Okay, so I ordered one of the £25 Made by Mitchell Melissa X Made by Mitchell mystery makeup bags. I also ordered the Beauty Crop X Amelia Olivia bundle. So we'll start with Mitchell. The Melissa X Made by Mitchell mystery box includes a randomly chosen selection of Made by Mitchell products. These products carry a total full retail price of £70. Items will include a random selection from the below. So you can get the liquid blushes, the blush bronzes, brushes, you can get an eyeshadow palette, you can get the liquid liners, liner pencils, liquid highlighters, sponges, the pencil and liner cases, a mirror and a swell solution. And you know what, I've seen people complaining, like quite a lot of people complaining about what they got in their mystery bags on TikTok, but at the end of the day, it's a mystery bag. You don't know what you're gonna get, and so obviously you can maybe get things that you might not necessarily use, but I saw people being like, I got a yellow eyeliner, when am I ever gonna use this? And I was thinking, like if you follow Mitchell and his brand most of their stuff is brightly colored and it might not be to your taste but that's the whole point of like a mystery bag some people were really happy with them and some people I saw were like what am I gonna do with this like black blush which I get is kind of confusing because Mitchell calls all of his blushes blush like they're all in the same packaging I've got one here they all look like this and they come in like every single color of the rainbow so even though it does say a blush on it and it says on the packaging liquid blusher if you don't follow the made by Mitchell brand account or Mitchell himself you won't see him like using them on the eyes or using them as an eyeshadow base or like anywhere on the face on the lips so I do get why some people were confused by that but like I said at the end of the day it's a mystery bag. Expect the unexpected. The first thing that I got is one of the brushes. This is the MF1 brush, which looks like this. It's just a very small, dense, domed brush, which actually, I think this would be really good for blending in like contour products and even putting on foundation is very very dense and it's quite small so I guess you could use this for a few different things and on Beauty Bay this brush by itself is £10 if you buy it individually obviously they do sell the brushes in sets and a lot of Mitchell's products are sold for discounted prices in bundles on TikTok so I then got another brush this I think is an eyeshadow brush okay this is an eyeshadow brush which is very very thin and very small I think this would be really good for blending like tiny little detailed colorful looks. I think it's the ME2 brush and it's the tiny eye definer brush. Again on Beauty Bay this is 10 pounds. And then I got four different blushes. I got two blush bronzed and two regular blushes. I got Can't Cope With Coral and Sweet Cheeks. I do have Can't Cope With Coral already and I would do a little swatch of this in a sec. And then I also got the shade Sweet Cheeks which looks like this. It's a really pretty baby pink. And then I got the blush bronzed in hollow there and blend and snatch. So hollow there is, I think one of the lighter shades that they do. And then this one is blend and snatch, which obviously for me would be too dark. And these full price retail for 14 pounds each on like Beauty Bay and Mitchell's website. Obviously, like I said, this one for cheaper on TikTok, but altogether, if I bought each of these items individually, it would have come to 76 pounds and I paid 25 quid. So I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing that I probably wouldn't uses the darker one but I could use this on my eyes which you know what I think today I'm going to challenge myself and use this on my eyes I'm going to try and then the next one was the beauty crop bundle which was 35 pounds a randomly chosen selection these products carry a total full retail price of 85 pounds the items will include a random selection from the below juice pot liquid blush 
cocoa palettes for blush, eyeshadow, bronze or highlight, setting mists, beauty crop primer, makeup tool, gift set or glow milk. The way that it was packaged was literally just like this with some paper on top. So the first thing I got, which I was so excited to see, is a little gift set of the juice pots. They do have the shade lychee in here, which I recently put in a favourites video because I loved it. Because I only recently tried stuff on the beauty crop. I tried some of their older stuff, but like since they launched um, this newer stuff, I hadn't tried it in ages. This blush is so nice and so I've now got two other shades. So these little juice pots individually are sold for £9 on Beauty Bay or you can get the set of three for £22 on the Beauty Crop website. So they do say lip and cheek tint. So I might try using one of these on my lips. From top to bottom, we have got cherry, then we've got lychee in the middle and then melon on the bottom. The next thing that I got is one of the primers. This is the Avocado Poreless Primer. Is that the mini or is that the full size? I don't actually know. It's quite small. I've got a BF. FXXL Brow and Lash Mascara Duo. So it's just like a clear mascara in one side and then a clear brow gel on the other side. I don't really use clear mascara often. I probably just would use that either like in my hair. I don't know, smooth over some sticky up bits. Or in my eyebrows. So it's just like a double-ended clear thing. And then I got the We Cherry PH Changing Hydrating Lip Oil. I'm gonna put some of this on now. Smells like cherry. Oh, that is changing colour, isn't it? I really hate the taste of cherry stuff. And then the final thing I got is a gift set. I got the Yes Way Rose Coco Rose gift set. Jesus, which looks like this. So I've got a palette in there, which I think is a blush, bronze and highlighter palette, a little retractable brush and a Coco Rose mist, which has literally got glitter in it. So all together, if I was to buy this all separately from their website, it would have cost 57 pounds. And I guess maybe if I'd have added all of the individual blushes up to what they would individually cost, then that would have brought the price up a little bit more. But I mean, all together, I paid 35 quid for it. It didn't quite make it up to the 85 pound claim, but I'm happy with what I got for tw for £35. This mist has got so much glitter in it. Oh well, we'll see how that goes when we get to it. <laughs> Retractable travel brush. And then the Coco Rose palette, which is a blush palette. I thought it was blush and bronzer and highlighter from the thing, but it is just a blush palette. I think I did used to have this. I got rid of it in a declutter. So let's bring you closer and we'll get started. So obviously I put the lip oil on already. I'm then gonna take the Avocado Poreless Primer. Okay. It's just like a cream texture. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where did that just go? I'm really confused. I did one pump and now the pump is not working. Okay, I'm confused. I've just taken the lid off and there's not a straw. It's just like a little pump thing. So I'm guessing you have to hold it upside down for it to come out. Because otherwise, how is it going to reach? There's no straw on the inside. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. That's really strange. They need a straw in there. <laughs> it smells quite fresh. And you know what? It actually feels really hydrating. It kind of just feels like a moisturiser, to be honest. I'm not really seeing the pore minimising effect at all. It just kind of feels like a moisturiser. But that's okay with me. Like, it feels very hydrating. A lot of the time, stuff that's like pore minimising tends to be matte. My skin looks nice. So I'm going to take some of this Rimmel Kind of Free Foundation. And I'm going to apply it with my Made by Mitchell brush. This is in the shade 160 Vanilla. It's a very small brush. I think it would be perfect for contour. Maybe not so much actually for foundation because it is quite small. It would take you a while to sort of paint your whole face. Yeah, okay, I probably wouldn't use this to do my foundation just because it is quite tiny and so it's taking a bit longer to blend. But I think for contour, this is going to be right. I'm also going to use it for my concealer just because it is quite small. Yeah, it works pretty nicely for concealer actually. Okay, no, I've changed my mind. It's too much effort. <laughs> so I'm taking Hello there from Mitchell and I'm going to use this as my cream contour, which is definitely more of a contour because it's quite a cool shade. Because it is quite small, I can kind of use it on my nose as well, but being completely honest, this isn't my favourite brush ever for applying bronzer. I find it a little bit too dense. I prefer, like, I'd like a dense brush for blending in cream products, but this is very, very dense, and because it's quite small, you sort of have to, like, tap it in lots of different areas to, like, diffuse it. But it's all down to personal preference. Like, I'd usually use something like this, and I find that a little bit easier to blend, whereas because this is quite small and dense, it almost feels like you have to, like, work a little bit harder to blend it out seamlessly. But then, I don't know, that might be somebody else's preference to have a smaller brush. I think this colour is really good on my nose. I don't know if this is going to be a mistake. I'm just going to add a tiny dot of this shade. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. 
Okay, yeah, I was kind of setting myself up for that one. Don't use the uh, deeper shade if it's not your skin tone because it will probably come across a little bit muddy because it is quite a cool toned deeper shade. So I'm first gonna take Can't Cope With Coral just to show you what it looks like because it is quite a light blush shade. So that's what it looks like with just a little bit applied. So I'm gonna add a second layer but it is a very pretty, corally, peachy colour. Even though it looks quite neon on the tube, it's definitely more natural. Like I said, I don't tend to reach for this one super often just because I do prefer the other shades that are a bit like darker, but it is a really pretty colour. I think on the other side, I'm gonna try the melon shade from the Beauty Crop. Is that enough? Is that too much? Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. That is nice though, I do like the colour, but Jesus, I would never run out of that. Let's now try Sweet Cheeks. I know that I've got three different blushes on, but quite frankly, I could not care less. I hope that this kind of brings it all together and I end up with, wow, okay, this is very bright. Oh God, oh God. Okay, this one is very pigmented. <laughs> I didn't need that much. Um, okay. You don't need much of that one, guys. Don't get me wrong, I like the colour and I would definitely wear this again. It's more of like a cool toned pink. Why is it not coming across on camera how it is in real life? Also that melon one before is stuck to the dry patches on my cheek. Um, so I should not have brought it down this far. Don't know how we ended up here. Might add a little bit more concealer. I'm gonna set my face using a bit of the Colourpop powder because I didn't get any powders in here. I never usually bring my blush down to here and I don't know how that even happened. I just put way too much on and now it looks a bit questionable. However, I do really like both of those blush products. Just be careful if you have any dry patches. <laughs> As I thought that this was a bronzer and blush palette, but it's just a blush palette, I'm not gonna use this for bronzer. I'm gonna just use a little bit of this uh, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Bit down the nose. You know what, I was watching back some of my old videos and my nose contour used to be so on point. Like during lockdown and when I started dating James, my nose contour just looked so good and my nose looked so snatched and I don't know what happened. Oh my goodness, these are really pigmented. So that's those four there. First of all, I'm gonna take this one because I don't know, it just looks really interesting. Very pigmented. It looks very kind of Kylie Jenner-ish. It is matte, but wow, yeah, that's very pigmented. Then I'm gonna take a bit of the shimmery peachy kind of color. Oh my God, I'm so blushy. Oh yeah, there's definitely some shimmer in that one. Oh, that's really nice. We seem to be going in a bit of a cycle here where I put too much on and then get rid of it and then put more on and then get rid of it. You know what, we'll just leave it. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and add a bit of highlighter because I don't have um, either of those two products, but I'll be right back. So I fill my brows in with pencil, but I do have this clear brow gel stuff, which I'm gonna use on my eyebrows, obviously. <laughs> does actually seem quite sticky like gloopy which is good for a brow gel that's what i want ah. yeah, you know what it's a lot stickier than i thought it would be a lot of clear brow gels don't really have that much hold and they're just like a clear mascara but this one is actually kind of gluey which i like okay we have some bushy eyebrows today but i actually really like that look how fluffy it's made them let me just check what's the uh, clear mascara side like weird brush should we see if it sticks my lashes up this is also kind of sticky, which is odd. Yeah, I don't really see the point in clear mascara. Brow gel's good though. Okay, what I'm gonna try and do is use the blush blend and snatch on my eyes and do a bit of like a smoky liner look maybe with this and see how I go because I have seen Mitchell use these on the eyes. So I'm gonna take a bit on the back of my hand. I'm kind of scared because obviously this color is quite dark. I haven't set my lids yet. So hopefully this will blend a bit better. I'm gonna apply some with an angled brush and then Take the little brush that I got in my mystery bundle and sort of blend that out of it, like smoke it out over my lid. Hmm. Oh, I had a bit more on this side. It looks quite dark in here, but it definitely does sheer out quite a lot on the eyes. Obviously I just applied a tiny little amount. So I'm gonna add a second layer and see if I can kind of build it. Okay, so I've waited for this side to dry a little bit more now. I'm just gonna take the brush and blend over that again. I am just gonna clean all this up with a bit of concealer in a sec. Maybe I shouldn't have done it in like the winged shape. Maybe I should have just tried it as like a smoky eye. Every time I try and do these like smoky wing things, I just can't do it. Even with just eyeshadow, like not even just with this product, but like in previous videos when I've tried to do this kind of look, it just fails. I just think I'm not destined to master the uh, smoky winged look. So instead, I'm literally just going to take some onto the brush and use it as eyeshadow on my outer corner. 
Okay, yeah, that's working a lot better. <laughs> so the way that Mitchell uses these on the eyes is just like a base for powder eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do the same. Although I do think I need a slightly bigger brush, but this brush is really nice for like detailed stuff. I'm just gonna take a few shades from my palette. So let's go with cereal over the top of that color. I've gone a lot more intense with this than I was anticipating. <laughs> I'm just using a bit of the Colourpop powder to just clean up the edge. So I just kind of ended up doing my regular sort of go-to glam look using cookie dough, cereal, mirror ball on the inner corners and not gonna lie on my lids and then I used a bit of Night Owl just to do a wing. But my face is looking quite matte. So I'm gonna use this which is the glittery Coco Rose Mist stuff and it says it is a hydrating setting mist. I have tried the Vitamin Babe setting mist which I really like. Oh shit I've just broken my nail. So I'm gonna give it a shake. Mm. I always do my setting mist before mascara otherwise it smudges. While we're at it, let's do a little eyeshadow test to see if it will smudge my makeup or stick it onto my skin. I'm actually going to do a bit of black. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, it shoots out a lot. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh god. Yeah, okay, it, it, it distributes a hell of a lot, <laughs> a lot of product onto your face. Oh, so it's kind of stinging my eyes a little bit. The Vitamin Babe one has a much nicer sort of spritzer. It's a little bit finer, a lot finer actually. I'd imagine maybe this is why this set is on sale because maybe it's something that they are discontinuing. Could be wrong. Yeah, it's just put glitter all over my face. That is just the weirdest thing. It's got like actual chunks of glitter in it. I don't know. I don't actually know if it's coming across on camera. I don't think it's coming across on camera because of the lighting, but it's actually deposited like little chunks of glitter. Not ideal. Way, 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 way prefer the vitamin babe, vitamin babe mist. But let's see if it has stuck down my... Oh, it wasn't fully dry. It kind of smudges a little bit, but not all of it has come off. Um, it does feel kind of tacky though, but yeah, no, the, the glitter is a big put off for me. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna put on a bit of mascara. And finally, I'm gonna try one of the Beauty Crop juice pots because it does, does say lip and cheek tint. So I'm gonna see how it works on the lips. Okay, it feels really thin actually. Wow, that is a stunning red colour actually. I wouldn't usually do a red lip with a, quite a dramatic eye. I guess it's not too dramatic is it, but you know what? It actually feels really comfortable on the lips. I wasn't expecting it to at all. I thought maybe it'd feel like a bit too slippery, but it's actually dried down, kind of like to a matte finish. Obviously, it does say that it's supposed to be a lip tint, so I'm not expecting it to perform like a liquid lipstick, but it feels really fit, thin and feels like it's kind of sunk into my lips. It does have a little bit of transfer, transfer, but not tons. Let me just see. I just want to see, like, once I've got off the initial, like, top layer, it's starting to fade a little bit, but... Yeah, after you've got off sort of like the top of it, it then doesn't really come off and it just leaves like not quite as bright of a tint, but it's definitely, definitely still there. That's pretty cool actually. Let's see what happens if I put a bit of the lip oil over the top. That actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. I'm actually pretty happy with what I got. There's only a couple things in here that I wouldn't necessarily use. Even if I was to take out the things that I wouldn't use, add up the rest of the products, it was still over what I paid for these like boxes, bundles. But I would say if you're particularly fussy and you're looking for something in particular, maybe don't order a mystery thing. <laughs> but if you're willing to experiment with your makeup and you maybe want to try something new and you're not sure what to pick, then it is quite a nice way to like try different things from different brands. So there we go, that's me. So that is me done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. If you know of any other brands that do mystery boxes, please let me know because I would love to buy some more of them and maybe do another one of these videos. And if you do like these kind of videos and you want to see more, then maybe subscribe. It's free. Turn my notifications on, then you'll see when I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're good and I will see you on my next video. Bye.